there is a now that is more related to the here than to the time. In the fifth dimensional frequency of reality, the operating system is quite different from the third and fourth dimensional operating system. Because humans have had many incarnations in the third and fourth dimensional frequencies of Earth, it is often difficult for them to realize, and recognize, that there is a now in which there is no time. In a reality that resonates to the fifth dimension and beyond, time is a term that is used for people to mark their connection within the collective. By collective, we mean those who have joined into a collective reality in which humans are no longer bound by the rulers of third and fourth dimensional planet. On this collective planet, which resonates to the fifth dimension and beyond, now is the only time, and here is the only place. In other words, there is no traveling over time to get to a certain place. We know that it is very difficult for those who have had many third dimensional incarnations to understand these concepts. Because of all humanity's many third dimensional incarnations, many humans have grown accustomed to here as being a place or experience. Also, this place, or experience, is usually marked in some manner, by the time that they spent in that place. When they were in that place, it was the now of that experience as the now was the time that they were presently in that place. However, on the fifth dimension, here and now mean the same thing, because there is no time and no space to separate the here from the now. The fifth dimension is always here right now, because there is no sense of time to represent the distance between where you were, where you were going, and where you are now. There is no difference because the here has crossed into the no time of the fifth dimension. Yes, there is still a sense of individuality of each life form, but in the fifth dimensional no time, you primarily perceive being auras, which are always overlapping, joining and merging with other auras. Hence, even though people and objects may appear to be somewhat separate, you can easily perceive how the auras of all persons, places, and things overlap, to blend them into the one of the here. Even the most clairvoyant person would not be able to see the separation between any life forms, because all life has an aura that blends and intermingles with all the other auras. Then, because all the auras merge into the one of that here, all the beings that share their aura with others, are in constant contact with anyone with whom they share their aura. We, the Arcturians, understand why third-dimensional humans do not allow their auras to overlap and merge with other people's auras unless they deeply know and totally trust that other person. However, in the fifth dimension, everyone can see, clairvoyant, feel, clairsentient, and hear, clairadiant, everyone else all the time, within the now. In the fifth dimension, time and space, now and later, are not separate. For example, time and space intertwine and blend into the now. This now is within the here of how each and every perception intertwines within the one of the fifth dimensional no time to transmute into the now of that here. Your fifth dimensional thinking does not fit too easily into the third and fourth dimensions, as the third and fourth dimensions are ruled by time and space. Therefore, these dimensions have a totally different operating system than the fifth dimension, which operates via the here and the now. It is for this reason that a third dimensional human does not easily perceive, or remember their fifth dimensional perceptual experiences. A perception is something that you might experience, but may or may not attend to this to it long enough to switch from your initial short-term memory into the long-lasting long-term memory. It is for this reason that our grounded ones often forget their fifth dimensional experiences and or communications. Therefore, we remind you all to make sure that you always have a pen and paper, or a means to type or speak into a recording, whenever you consciously perceive, hear or see, a fifth dimensional being or object, such as a starship. What we observe is that the ascending ones have a fifth dimensional experience but are unable to transition this experience into their third dimensional long-term memory. Therefore, they quickly forget, not only the message, but the feel of the message.
This is where your physical body is very helpful. When you allow your interdimensional message to flow into your physical body, your body will remember the physical feeling that accompanies the flow of a higher dimensional message into your physical perceptual field. When this higher dimensional message enters your physical perceptual field, it joins the sum total of all the higher dimensional visions and experiences that you have been able to accept without fear or doubt. These visions and experiences are stored in your high heart and multi-dimensional mind as possible versions of reality. Knowing that you have experienced a possible version of reality, is much more positive than doubting yourself and wondering, I must be crazy to think I perceive that which I have always thought was impossible. The truth is that human consciousness, within this major time era, is just now progressing into a high enough state of consciousness that they are able to consciously perceive and believe in information that is telepathically and invisibly sent to them from the higher frequencies of reality, specifically, the fifth dimension. Before this now, except in past peak societies, too many people would become frightened by perceptions of a person, place or thing that they have never seen before. Why were they frightened by new perception? because it threatened their beliefs about reality. However, within this now, more and more people are consciously perceiving fifth-dimensional persons, places, situations or things out of the corner of their eye. These perceptions usually occur during meditation or dreams, when their state of consciousness resonates to the fourth, or even the fifth dimension of reality. Just a few years ago, if one were to talk about the fifth dimension, especially about the beings who inhabit the fifth dimension, or the fact that they experienced the fifth dimension, no one would believe them. They would think I was crazy if I told anyone, which was, of course, information spread by the Illuminati's propaganda system. This fear-based information was given to us in subtle ways, such as TV commercials. If someone would not like you because your glasses had spots, then what would they think of you if they knew you could talk to aliens? In fact, the 1950s were riddled with terrifying science fiction movies, which were actually meant to frighten humanity to believe in horrible beings overtaking humanity. Fortunately, E.T., and all the Stargate movies sent out the message that there were many wonderful beings from other realities that wanted to connect with humanity. Before these higher concepts were introduced to humans, many people who had higher dimensional experiences thought, since I am the only one perceiving this, they would think I was crazy if I told anyone. However, there is another that would be so grateful that you had the nerve to share this information. Since we, Arcturians, can determine what each human is perceiving. We would like you to know that everyone having their first higher dimensional perceptions and experiences is nervous about sharing their experience with others. This is why we ask each of you, the leaders and protectors of Gaia, to share your fifth dimensional perceptions. Again, fifth dimensional perceptions seem impossible to those who have never been able to consciously acknowledge that higher dimensions of reality run simultaneously with the lower dimensions of reality however we ask our awakened ones to not become afraid of judgment from others when you speak from your true self it has been the tactics of the dark ones to ridicule and cruelly judge those who have written or spoken of the fifth dimension because they know that eventually the truth will be revealed within the now in which the awakening ones are able to accept it. The synchronicity of the higher information being simultaneously acknowledged within the same here, location, and now, time, will serve to push new concepts free from the fear and superstition of the past, and into the bravery and open-mindedness of the now. Of course, there are still those who have not yet allowed themselves to be weird enough to openly think in this new interdimensional way. They will not call this information interdimensional if they have not allowed themselves to consciously consider that there are higher frequencies of reality that are running simultaneously to the third dimensional version of reality. The higher dimensionals can perceive those who resonate to the lower dimensions, and more and more people are gradually, or quickly, 
having higher dimensional perceptions, such as a perception of starships, and or higher dimensional beings. We ask that those of you, and there are many, many of you, who have had an interdimensional experience, to share your experience with others. Within every evolutionary cycle, such as what humanity is now enjoying, some humans will become very frightened by the great change, and will usually deal with their fear by being angry. Fortunately, there are more and more humans who have allowed their consciousness to expand into the higher frequencies of light, so that they can consciously perceive that Gaia is being basked in higher frequency, interdimensional light. This higher frequency, interdimensional light has always been on Earth to some degree, but it did not change society because too many humans were not ready, yet, to allow themselves to think in a fifth dimensional manner. Of course, some spoke in a fifth dimensional manner, but they did not call it a fifth dimensional message, as those terms had not yet come into their awareness. Therefore, they talked about something being different. Again, they did not know how it was different, but those who were sufficiently awake to be aware of the new parading of reality, which was resonating to higher frequencies, begin to perceive and believe there were higher frequency realities. Of course, many humans are totally unaware of the concept of the higher dimensions of reality that resonate beyond humanity's third dimensional perceptions. On the other hand, we Arcturians perceive that more and more humans are beginning to open their imagination, if not their thinking, to the possibility that Earth is a multi-dimensional being with many levels of her planetary consciousness. We also see that more and more humans are thinking about their own state of consciousness, a possibility of ascension, and higher dimensional realities. These concepts were largely unknown to all humans except for the spiritual masters and or spiritual seekers. Interestingly, every day, more and more people are beginning to expand their thinking to encompass higher dimensional concepts. They may not be able to understand these new concepts that are floating through their minds, but many are intrigued enough by the information to do some research into this new, unusual, maybe even, crazy way of thinking. Even though some people still fear, and thus discredit this information, more and more people are looking for answers about what is happening in their reality. And, instead of looking in the news or into their computers, they are beginning to look into themselves. And, much to their surprise, many who send a quick message up to whoever may be interested are getting answers. These answers are not like the answers they get on the news or in the break room at work. These answers are coming in from a higher reality, actually the fifth dimensional reality, in a manner that it never has before. Fifth dimensional messages, answers, dreams, and visions are being experienced by more and more people. But, who can they talk to about them? Can they tell their friends or family? Can they tell their boss or their co-workers? They don't know. They would love to talk to everyone about these unique experiences, but what if they were judged, or laughed at? Of course, this fear is well founded, as new information is often frightening to people. Therefore, they deal with their fear by judging the information and or the person who gave them the information. Fortunately, on the other hand, there are more and more awakening humans who are allowing themselves to believe that their inner voices, as well as the inner messages that are coming to them from higher dimensional realities, as well as from their own higher self. Imagine how your reality would change if more and more humans believed in, and understood the concept of ascension. What if the topic of possible ascension became more popular than the topic of who won the game, or who did what to someone else? What if humans sought to ascend more than they sought a new house, more money, or a promotion at work? How would that change their vision of reality? Many people have slightly, or vastly experienced visions, dreams, or voices from higher frequencies of reality. What if people begin to remember that they are the creators of their reality? How would life on ascending planet Earth change if more and more people believed that they are the creators of this higher dimensional reality?
How would their life change if they totally believe that they are the creator of their reality? Take some time within the now to ponder these questions to find your answers. There are no right or wrong answers. There are only your answers about how you have chosen to structure your life. In fact, what does it mean to you to structure your life? We, the Arcturians, and your galactic family, ask you to look at your life from the perspective that you are not the victim, because you are the creator of your reality. It was always meant for the humans of Earth to have the freedom to be the creators of their lives, but the Dark Ones came to take down the peak societies and extend the separation and fear. However, we, the Arcturians and your galactic family, wish to tell you that the frequency field surrounding Gaia is expanding to accept more and more interdimensional light. This interdimensional light is being sent to Gaia to assist the awakened humans to return to their mastery of self. This return to your own inner master will give you the courage and unconditional love that you had when you decided to take an earth vessel to assist dear Gaia with her planetary ascension. Remember the promise you made with yourself before you took this incarnation. Blessings, dear warriors for Gaia. We salute you the Arctrians and your greater galactic family.